Okay, before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave a comment if you want to, and also check out uh, my other channel, Caveman Critics. I'll leave a link to that below. So about a week ago, Elon Musk unveiled the new Cybertruck, which looks like a retro futuristic truck. Like if you time traveled back to the 80s and imagined what a truck would look like in the year 2020, well, this is what it would look like, I guess. It's bulletproof, which I don't know why you need a bulletproof for a truck, but it's bulletproof. The windows are shatterproof. He did some test demos during the unveiling and, uh, and the glass that they had laid out on the, uh, whatever you want to call it over there, that didn't break, but when the guy got the metal ball and threw it up the windshield, well, it didn't turn out exactly how they expected, I guess. They did a uh, tug of war with a, a Ford F-150. He raced the Porsche, which of course the Cybertruck won both hands down. Now the reason I didn't pre-order one of these trucks is, first of all, uh, I don't need a truck, especially a bulletproof truck, and especially one that looks so futuristic. And second of all, I'm not a farmer or a rancher. So most people that use trucks, especially here in Texas, they haul stuff in the truck. Farmers and ranchers haul their equipment, haul bales of hay, feed for the cows, their tools. I really cannot imagine, like my grandfather, ever driving a truck like this. It sort of blows my mind if he did. I really can't see any farmers and ranchers driving a truck like this. It seems to me that the only people that are pre-ordering this truck are, I guess, vloggers and the people at this uh, demonstration, which uh, I guarantee you none of those people have ever hauled anything in a truck. So I guess for the vloggers out there that have pre-ordered this truck, good for them. I guess they can uh, use the back of the truck to haul their little camera. So I have plenty of room. 